First of all, thank you very much for being on our YouTube channel. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Australia, Sydney. Uh, I'm from England. You, you guys are struggling? Yeah, in, struggling. In Japan. And you guys met in Japan or? No, no, uh, so I live in Sydney. Oh, is this your first time in Japan? Not my first time. I've been to Tokyo before a couple of years ago. Uh -huh. But your first my time? My first time. It's the first time for you. Say probably about six or seven years ago. I can't remember exactly when. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I just went to Tokyo for about a week mm -hmm. uh, and didn't really leave outside of like Shibuya, Shinjuku uh -huh. sort of area, Harajuku, that sort of area. At that time, uh, what was your like the, the purpose or the uh, purpose of my trip? Right. Yeah, yeah, I just same same as this one. We just came for holiday. Oh, Japan again for for the. Uh, yeah, the, the trouble, trouble yeah for me for me it was to come back to Japan and see other parts uh, of the country that I didn't get to before so on this trip we've left Tokyo and we've gone to uh, uh, before this we were in Hakone mm -hmm. and Kyoto and now we're in Osaka for a couple of days you've been to those places already on this trip yeah, before. yeah. Oh. so we've been we've been here for about a week and a half almost two weeks Hakone area beautiful oh. but we did there was a lot of rain, rain so we were, <laughs> we were we were only there for about like one full day uh -huh. and a half day mm -hmm. and the one full day we were there it rained the entire day so uh, we didn't get to see like Fuji or really go around the uh, Lagashi area uh -huh. but we still did but we just got right. drenched. You stayed in like an onsen area? Yes, yeah. Yeah. we yeah. stayed in a hotel that had an onsen at the hotel and then also in our room it had a little bath, mm. little onsen bath very nice yeah good for you too yeah yeah we loved it you it was know? nice we could have been better weather but it was it was good right nice right. to relax yeah. it was <laughs> it was good to have the good to have the onsen in the room and it was raining i think mm. but it gave us something to do so like a volcano area right? <laughs> so there is a, a steam yeah. comes mm. from the ground did you go yeah did we did the ropeway over it right stank it's, it smelled so bad, so... The sulfur or something? Yeah, the sulfur. Yeah. yeah, we stopped off there only once to, um... Only once on the ropeway, and we just stopped off there, took some photos, but we didn't go back again. We just kind of kept going. The next time we went over the top of it, because we had to get the ropeway down to where we wanted to go in Hakone, oh, near the lake. Oh, I see. You, you saw the Mount Fuji. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, we didn't get to see no, Mount Fuji. Too too cloudy. Yeah. Too, you, you got that. Uh, uh, the reason for next trip. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. What else are you going to visit now? In Japan, Africa? this is our last our last day today. Yeah, yeah. It's, our, it's our last day. Our last day in Japan. Tomorrow we leave for Korea. We go to Seoul. Oh, uh, after that, what kind of plan do you have? After Seoul, right? We go back home. Back, yeah, back oh, to Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Back to yeah. Sydney. Yeah, so another five days, uh, and then five. we go back. It's the first time. Not uh, my first time. My, my first time, yeah. <laughs> uh, my first time for everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. How about the other Asian countries? Uh, yeah, I've been? Uh, been to Vietnam. Oh. Um, that's it. Is I've, that it? I've been, a lot. <laughs> I've been to Hong Kong. Um, oh. I've been to the Philippines. Uh, v not Vietnam, sorry. I've been to Thailand mm. as well. Um, and then I, I've been to... Uh, S Seoul before mm. and Tokyo before. Mm. Have something like a di different, probably it's a di different, but uh, like a surprising kind of different thing between Japan and other countries. I think what surprises me again about Japan is the public infrastructure. Like there's a, there's a lot of really good public transport here. Like the whole time we've been. In Japan, mm -hmm. we've taken public transport everywhere. Mm -hmm. Even when we were in Hakone, which is relatively rural for uh -huh. Japan, there were still multiple trains and buses everywhere. Uh, we've taken the bullet train between all of the cities and it's been fantastic. So that's something that seriously lacks in a lot of Western countries. Mm -hmm. And I know everyone says it about when they come to Japan, how great it is, but it really has made the trip very easy. easy. Very easy and and just stress free to be able to get around. Know that we're able to get everywhere without having to worry about like booking a hotel transfer or a taxi or something. Mm -hmm. So that's been great. Mm -hmm. And um, and the hospitality as well has been really has been really good. J Japan Japanese is a hard language to learn, oh. so we're only get, getting around with 
arigato and okay. onagashimasu. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's it's hard to it's hard to learn, but still people are very accommodating yeah. and, and trying to help us with ordering or where to go and what to do, even though we don't speak a lot of Japanese, <laughs> which has been really nice. Do you use like a Google Translate? Yes, we have we have yeah. Google Translate. Yeah, <laughs> especially when we go into the restaurants that mm. don't have the English menu, we get the Google Google Translate, <laughs> take a photo and, and uh -huh. read the menu. Uh, do you have something like a Japanese culture in your the hometown, like a, Japanese community or yeah, like a connection between like a Japanese thing and you? Um, I don't think so. No. Not much? No. In around the area I grew up, there's a park mm -hmm. called Koshigaya Park, mm -hmm. and it's actually a twin. The oh, that yeah. local area actually is a twin city, uh -huh. and has a tw like the local council uh -huh. has a twin council with Koshigaya, the city in uh, um, Tokyo. Tokyo. Uh -huh. So in to in in Koshigaya they have a Campbelltown Park, and mm -hmm. in Campbelltown, the, the city I'm talking about back home, they uh -huh. have the Koshigaya Park. And there, I know that there's been uh, swaps between the two councils. Uh -huh. So people from Koshigaya Council have come out to Campbelltown, and people from Campbelltown have gone out to Koshigaya and and talked to each other and see how everything's ran with the respective sort of uh -huh. council areas. So that's oh. that's something from my area. But as for like a Japanese community uh, and Japanese culture in Australia. Sushi is very is a very big thing. Like there's sushi restaurants everywhere, but it's not like sushi in in Japan. They have they have chicken in the sushi. Like they have karage chicken in, inside the sushi, and it's not like here where it's uh, raw fish. Right. It's very Western Westernized sushi, but they're everywhere. You can go go anywhere, and they have the sushi train oh, restaurants. Uh -huh. So you like sushi? Too? Yes, yeah. love it. What kind of fish do you like? The most? Here, the tuna, uh, the tuna and the salmon. Mm. They're, they're my two favorite. Um, the sashimi, where they have the rice and just the uh, right nigiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah style. that just yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. Right. Those, those are my two favorite. But back, back home, we would, I'd say it would also be the salmon, but they cook it yeah. like it's cooked salmon oh. with uh, with like sauce. Uh, it's like different, on. like a lot of different sauce on top, mm. isn't it? And they burn the sauce on. Yeah, it's a lot different back home. Oh. They cook uh, a tuna. You, they cook tuna and they put it on the rice. Yeah, so they yeah, they'll yeah. do it um, like a heated nigiri like. style. Did you say where they have the rice uh -huh. and Nigir then they'll uh -huh. put the they'll put the fish on top, fish, but uh -huh. the fish will be cooked. Be it cooked. won't be raw, uh -huh. and then there'll be sauce like different. Right. I don't know what sort of sauce it is. Mm. There's a lot of different type of sauces they put on, and then it's mm. burnt with a flame. Right. Yeah, we sometimes like a burn mm. a little bit, but I, I don't think we burn tuna. No. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not it's, like a. Yeah. It's something I've only seen burn. done in Aus in Australia. Uh -huh. um, I haven't seen it done here or anywhere else. Oh. It's just, I think it's done in Australia for the palate out there. I don't think a lot of people would eat raw fish. They would feel mm. a bit strange about it. Mm. Fish in Australia is fine. Right. Eat raw. <laughs> Do you like sushi? Too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. Uh, I think salmon is a really popular mm. thing. Yeah, but uh, I, I think in, in Japan the, the salmon is a not a really traditional like a, you know no, the it's food. Not. I mean the fish for sushi. I think it's a, the newer. Yeah, I think it's definitely the the salmon is definitely something that Western people would right. recognize and are uh -huh. more likely to try. And I think that's why it's in a lot of the tourist places, uh -huh. the, the salmon sushi. Like we've been staying in a lot of tourist areas like Shinjuku and, and Dotonbori and Hakone. Mm. And so a lot of the food there is, but it's, I guess, more touristy, mm. would you say? Would you agree? Yeah, I yeah. agree. But uh, even though it's not the touristy area, uh, the uh, salmon, uh, salmon nigiri is really popular. And oh. I think it's, yeah, I think many uh, Japanese, even Japanese people like it. Oh, cool. Yeah, just like uh, it's not really a, a traditional, I yeah. think, the, you know, the fish, yeah. but it's still it's good. And yeah. I love the personally, and prawn is <laughs> my oh, favorite. Prawn, yeah. yeah, they're good too. Mm. Yeah, Japanese you wish existed in your hometown. There's a lot. There's a yeah. there's a lot of things over there. Just you. the culture and yeah. like I don't know everything's cute. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> like, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. 
How, how would you I explain that? Yeah, I, I would say there's a lot of facets of Japanese culture yeah. that the West could do with. Like, I've, even here, I've seen there's a lot more focus on um, uh, kids. Like every time I walk into a toilet, uh -huh. they always have a baby changing station in uh -huh. the men's toilet. They have a baby cha changing mm. station mm. and a place to put the put a put a baby or mm. or, or a little urinal for the, for the kids. Like you don't see that a lot oh. back back home yeah. in the men's toilet. They oh. really put that in the women's toilet, or it's a separate thing. Mm -hmm. So there seems to be a lot more of a focus on mm. ki kids out here and putting in facilities for children, oh, which is great. Oh. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned before, the, the transportation in, in Australia could be done a lot better and a lot of lessons can be learned from Japan uh, and, and other places in Asia as well, like Taiwan and some parts of China have really good public transportation too. Um, and the uh, and the politeness. The people are very yeah. polite, very patient here, even in Tokyo, which is a massive city, which I think has a population more than Australia and all of Tokyo, but still. People are very orderly, very polite. They line up for the train. They line up for things. Mm, you, you don't know, get that. In you don't Sydney. get that in Sydney. Everyone just runs. And yeah, I think that sort of polite culture and patience can can mm. definitely learn lessons from it in <laughs> Australia and probably throughout the Western world as well. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for the sharing your uh, experiences and uh, your ideas. No, That's thanks for thanks for having us. It was really <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for being on our YouTube channel. Uh, where are you guys from? Texas, America. Oh, America. Uh, okay. you, you, both of you guys. Yeah. Uh, is this the first time for you in, in Japan? Yeah. Uh, have you been to other countries? Uh, not Asia, but oh. all through Europe, France, Italy, Spain, Germany, oh. Croatia, uh, Poland. Then what? Uh, what prompted you to come to Japan this time? I've been wanting to come for a while. Um, yeah. We were planning to come in 2020. 2020 and then the oh. pandemic, yeah. so it oh. got pushed off till now. Uh, why you wanted to come? Till I think we wanted to visit. We knew there was like a lot of rich culture here, a new experience, and really beautiful. Um, so we just wanted to, yeah, like learn a little bit and see what it was like. Uh, far, uh, where have you been? Been to Tokyo. We were in Tokyo for three days. Um, so we went kind of around to different spots there. Uh -huh. um, and then we just got to Osaka yesterday. Do you have uh, any special like uh, experiences uh, in Tokyo area where have you where you went? We went to a really cool restaurant the first night. Um, oh. I wish I could remember the full name of it, but it was an izakaya, mm -hmm. um, so that was really nice. It was kind of the sunken down tables, oh, no, no, take no. your shoes off when you enter. Oh, no. um, we did that... some bars in Shinjuku at the Golden Guy. Uh, Nightlife? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. How about daytime? Like... <laughs> uh, during the day, we yeah. saw a lot of uh, shrines and temples. I don't know the name of the park we were. Uh -huh. Oh, Uinu? Ueno. Yeah. Where the big the, the man Yeah, we did a lot of walking around there. Uh, did you go to the zoo? Or something? We the zoo was closed oh, when we were there, but we walked around the uh, lake or pond the that pond? was there with the paddle boats and everything. Uh -huh. uh, but the zoo was closed, and then from there is I guess we just continued walking up to the where the reflection pond was. Um, and we went to that neighborhood um, where the sunset was. And oh we yeah, down a lot uh, of, like, around Taito, I think. Yeah. And we had some drinks over there. Looked at some of the shops, and uh, that was pretty much that full day during the daytime. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second, the third day, uh, we just had breakfast, and then we ate, we got on the train to, oh. to come to Osaka. Uh, so we've only been in Japan for, this is our fifth day, mm -hmm. we got here on Sunday, so we haven't been here too long. Mm -hmm. You spent two days or so? Uh, this is our yeah, second two nights, day. Two, two, nights. two nights, and then tomorrow we're taking a train, uh, I don't know the name of the mountain. Mount Sura, um, this one. Oh, in Shikoku area. 
what's special about it? I've never heard it. Uh, we, I don't know how we found it, um, yeah. but we're gonna like hike to the top and stay up there at like a, um, what would you call it? A lodge? Yeah. Uh -huh. Stay for the so night hiking. there. Oh, okay. I, so you found it in the internet? Somehow, yeah. Yeah. And you, you saw the, like a view or something and it was beautiful? Yeah, yeah, good views, so. beautiful, good landscape. Landscape. Which uh, the prefecture? You know? Yeah, Tokushima. Uh, how are you going to go Get there? there. <laughs> uh, yeah, because... train, train and bus. Oh. And bus, yeah, and then I think a little walking. Yeah, the, there's uh, to get up to the top of the mountain where the lodge is. There's like a ski lift like that takes you up. Yeah, and then you have to walk or hike 45 minutes from the end of the lift up to the mm -hmm. uh, where the lodge is. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. So, sounds fun. Yeah. Like a, fun. Like It'll be... Hiking. Yeah. 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 Okay. And not many people go there. I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know um, how we found it. Uh, <laughs> I would say less less tourists usually are oh. there than Osaka or you know just the big but cities. It, uh, yeah. it was that it's a nice. guide we found is from a, another YouTuber. Oh uh, yeah, travel um, guide. Oh I yeah, see. but it must be a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. We hope so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll find because, out tomorrow. Yeah, uh, the popular parts are well known, but uh, you know those are very uh, I don't know what. what to say it, but a uh, precious uh, uh, memory you would have uh, yeah. only for you guys. I think yeah. so. Yeah. And uh, you're going to go you know, to eat udon there? It's because uh, the, the, uh, the prefecture next to it is a Kagawa prefecture, and that is a uh, prefecture of udon. Do you know oh. udon? It's a, uh -huh. yeah, it's a noodle. Then, yeah, we'll, we'll have, have to, to try that. it. Yeah. Uh, it's really hard and chewy kind of. Uh, uh, tough. Uh -huh. Tough, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna serve us dinner and breakfast at the uh -huh. um, the lodge. The lodge, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, before we go, oh no, yeah, that is tomorrow, and then mm -hmm. Kyoto is after that. Oh, yeah. Which part are you going to? Uh, In Kyoto? Uh -huh. I, I don't know. know. <laughs> we we'll uh, see. Yeah, we booked. We'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll go see some of the you know shrines, the shrines, temples, uh, the landmark things to go see. But we don't have that planned out yet. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of just get there and yeah, that and is see. a good plan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, no plan. plan. <laughs> just see how it turns out and what right. we want to go do. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, what what kind of food have you eaten so far? Like Japanese food. Yes. This um, morning we had omi rice. All right. And last night, what's the name of the? Oh, I don't know. Then I don't remember the name of it. But where it's on like the. Griddle. Uh, the griddle thing, it's starch and they like make it into a circle with the different sauces and it is uh, toppings on okonomiyaka. it. Okonomiyaka. Oh, okonomiyaki? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. That was good. Um, and then in Tokyo we had a, a ton different. of different stuff. We had wagyu beef. Uh, it had sushi. Um, well, it was sashimi. Uh, and then octopus we had like uh, whatever potato salad. The, and a fried rice ball with eggs, just different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you uh, find those things in, in your hometown? Sushimi, yes. Yeah. Um, not the things we had this morning or last night. Yeah. Um, Home rice thing. The only mm -hmm. rice would be yeah. rare to find. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, okay. How, other thing. how you say it? Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would. I've never seen that before. Maybe you could find it there. I just don't know. Uh, how about takoyaki? Not have yet. You, ha, have you heard? Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Takoyaki. It's it, it's kind of similar to uh, okonomiyaki, but it's like a bowl. Okay. In the, the oh, octopus inside. Yes, we wanted. That's the thing. Oh, we the try. the balls, the right. little balls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the like, bowl and the ta uh, octopus inside. Yeah. No, we wanted to. I think probably tonight. Right. It's, a, yeah. it's a, the place of takoyaki is here, right? Okay. Yeah, like okay. Osaka area. So yes, we wanted we to saw, try that. Yeah, we saw it all last night. We just uh -huh. didn't. Uh, we hadn't tried it yet. Mm. Are there anything uh, you wish uh, existed in your? Like Japanese thing, mm. like any like uh, idea thing or the things, and it's it's okay. You you cannot bring back to, you know, actually cannot bring back. Oh yeah. But if you have this thing, then it will be nice. 
The, mm. kind of, the public transport is really good. The trains are really good. Uh, it's really popular. Teas are really good. Yeah. But this uh, this drink you have. Oh, these. We oh, don't, just different yeah, drinks just are really different, good. Like, we don't have anything that tastes like this, oh, uh, just from the vending cute. machine. Like, the vending machines are super convenient. Oh, um, okay. But in terms of, like, items or anything, I don't. we haven't had much exposure to anything that I would uh, say is uniquely Japanese yet uh, in terms of, like, a, oh, I wish I ha uh, had this. Uh, izukayas are cool. The izukayas are really oh, cool. Those yeah. are nice. Yeah. yeah. It's a good atmosphere. You like drinking? <laughs> drinking, good food, good uh -huh. service. Uh -huh. Everyone's uh, very polite here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Can you give us some like advice or like, a comment for those who are coming to Japan or thinking about going to Japan? Um, go. Go. Do, go. go. Come here. Yeah. yeah come. But do your, do your research, I'd say. Plan at least the cities you want to go to a little bit ahead of time. Uh, but we've enjoyed not having That's a plan it. every day. Right. Just kind of, you know, get somewhere, feel it out, and plan the next day after your last day. I'd say, yeah, uh, just go. Um, I feel like don't be worried about not being able to speak to people. Mm -hmm. You'll figure it out. Uh -huh. And if you really need to say something, you can always use Google, Google. Translate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody's been really polite and it's beautiful. And so I'd say go. Thank you so much for sharing your uh, experiences and your thoughts about Japan. Yeah. It was nice talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, thank you for being on our YouTube channel. <laughs> is, is this your first time in Japan? I... Oh, hi. <laughs> you, you speak Japanese or...? Just, just this the, word. The, the basic, basic. A few words. We tried picking it up. Yeah. yeah, not too easy. Uh, like, uh, why did you uh, choose? Did you choose Japan this time to come? Oh, that's a good question. Oh yeah. I think we both like the culture, and we heard really good things about it. We heard that it's safe. Mm. Super so safe. Yeah. Clean. The people are nice as well. Uh, different culture. Yeah. Everything is different. Yeah. yeah. Then did you have a the, uh, image uh, of Japan before coming here? Yeah. Maybe like from um, anime and stuff. Oh, like, anime? A little bit, yeah. Mm. Like, um, what kind of anime is it? I watched uh, Spirited Away. Wow. It's um, quite old. Mm. It's a movie and it was in the cinemas. It's a bit scary. Oh, film? It was, it's a film, yeah. It's a film. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll have to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that is the first contact to, to Japan? Yeah, I think that's the f I saw when I was like eight, maybe. Oh. Oh wow, a long time ago. And from there, you, you a little bit gave, A little bit, gave, but my brother, yeah, my brother oh. really likes Japan. He told us all the things about Japan. Oh, so. he studies Japanese, yeah. her brother, in oh. university. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, then you speak Japanese? No, uh, no? only a few words <laughs> from few, yeah. How about other uh, Asian countries? Have you traveled before? Uh, Sri Lanka? I've How been to that? Thailand mm -hmm. oh. and Singapore. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Can you compare those countries and Japan? Sri Lanka was very different. Yeah. Uh, very but poor. All the areas that I went to in Sri Lanka and dirty. Um, very different, yeah. Mm. Food was also very different yeah. and you had to watch what you eat. And here you, it's very safe, you can eat anything. Like, yeah, Sri Lanka for us it's a, a country of tea, maybe. Yeah. 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 Oh, is that so? Yeah. yeah. And also maybe only me. It's a coconut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, you don't have coconuts in uh, Japan? Maybe in Okinawa I, or in uh, tropical zones. But, uh, what we can find is uh, like a Philippine or or like a Sri Lanka, and I. Uh, so personally, I like the coconut butter. <laughs> oh. mm, I like so, it too. Like to cook with it? Yeah, we are just to put on like, like a oh, pancake. And, cool. Yeah, I was not aware of that. I, yeah, I good. you can drink the water. It's yeah. right, really delicious. Nice. Yeah. Butter. But the butter is a the thicker. It's not, yeah, not you even can oil. Spread. Yeah, spread. Yeah. Yeah. And it, if you leave it, then it's gonna be like an oil and a, I don't know what the the butter. 
the, if you mix it, it it's gonna be a butter. And the, the mm, part, okay. the, the thin part is the oil. But, cool. Uh, yeah. When I was in Thailand, uh -huh. I got food poisoning. Wow. I don't know why, uh -huh. but I I was in hospital well, you, because you, it's so dirty. Uh -huh. Everything is dirty, and there is germs and bacteria, right? Yeah. Bacteria uh -huh. and yeah, so it's very different. And you know, Japan. Mm. In Japan, everything is cleaner than in our country because oh, yeah. it's so clean and so neat. Oh, everything yeah. is oh, in order. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, it's a big difference. Uh, you know what you ate in Thailand? You I'm not sure. I, I was not eating anything dangerous or on the street. Just oh, I restaurants. Um, who knows? Uh, but <laughs> then, uh, what kind of Japanese things you can find? There, there are a lot of sushi places. Mm -hmm. But the sushi is not quite like the sushi here. Mm. It's right? more westernized. You yeah. have like lots it's of sauces, like the spicy mayo and mm. uh, a lot of like fried sushi. You put the sushi also with the teriyaki. Yeah. Oh. Nobody does it here. You just use soy. Yeah. Right. And you also we got all kinds of special sushis which you cannot find here, oh. yeah. like with cheese and with. Um, too many ingredients inside the sushi. Uh, the roll? Yeah, yeah, too many. Uh -huh. And also we got inside out rolls. I don't think ah. you have those here at all. Well, yeah, Where the rice it, is outside. Right. I think we call it like a California roll. Oh. Or like a, like a from the US, I yeah. think. And yeah. maybe we imported it. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's some Japanese restaurants mm -hmm. we've been to more like here. Mm -hmm. But just one. It's oh. very rare. So yeah. ramen, there's only two places that sell ramen. Uh -huh. It's very rare. Yeah, and it's okay. very different. It's um, also the fish that you eat here. Uh -huh. yeah. In the sushi restaurants, a lot of strange fish like uh, squids, oh. sea, sea urchin. urchin. <laughs> I tried the sea urchin uh -huh. here. It was. Um, did you like it? I did not like it at all. <laughs> yeah. I could not. I had to oh. put it out oh. from my mouth. It was very strange. Yeah. But I, I heard that you Japanese, you love it, yeah. so I don't And that, that is very <laughs> no like expensive. Oh. Kind of. It was expensive, yeah. Uh, you like it? Yeah. It's I hard like to, it. I don't know. Mm. You mean the sea urchin? Yeah. The squid is kind of uh, more popular. Squids, uh, eels, yeah. all, all of these oh. fish, we've never seen it oh. anywhere else in the world. Uh, uh, the eel kind of bowl. Oh. You, you know, like, do you know uh, beef bowl? Like a, the sure. rice and, oh, okay. and the beef on top. I think I've seen it. Yeah, we have like a bowl style kind of meal. With you can eel? put the, like okay. a, yeah, the beef or pork and then we call it like a bowl. And mm -hmm. what we have also eel. And it, it's not a, the tradition is not like a bowl, it's like a square kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's very uh, expensive too. Because, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the food here, yeah, it's very different. Every mm. it feels like every restaurant has something new. Mm. Yeah. Every even mm, uh, it's all different. It's all yeah. different. Right? Then, but what did you like the most then? With the, about mm. food. The food. I like the soup with the oh, udon. Soup. Udon, oh, udon soup. It's amazing. The the, uh, the soup. Like uh, after eating the like udon kind of thing. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. And the noodles as well, like the mm. udon, oh. misu. I really like. Oh, I see. I see. Misu, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And we really like the rice that has like a special seasoning with seaweed. Yeah. You got like white rice, mm -hmm. and then you put a seasoning. It's like yellow kind of seasoning, uh -huh. and also seaweed. You can put all over it, and it gets salty. Right. right. The, we call it the furikake. I think oh. furikake means like the uh, uh, sprinkling. Like it's a, wonderful. Uh, we also bought some. We have. We bought it so we can cook at home. Oh, oh. Yeah. We bought a few. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. I like the desserts, like the red bean matcha desserts. Oh. And, um, I think also the su the sushi in general. All the sushi that I tried here was excellent. Oh. It was much better. It's like a festive. Thing yeah. almost or mm. uh, a special thing that you go to eat sushi we also like the eggs like the omelets in mm. japan they're amazing Ooh, yeah. fluffy small Quite omelets small. The yeah. there's also omelets that you eat with the rice where it's like yeah. an omelet 
<laughs> like a sashimi, sashimi maybe you call it? Oh, oh, oh. You mean sashimi the... with omelet on top, with egg. Uh, it's like a sushi. Yeah. Yeah, sushi. with the egg, the egg on the top. Little, uh, wow. Like so good. Delicious. You, you, you said you like the matcha. You, yeah, you I love it. it yeah. Do you like it if it's uh, bitter or sweet? I think sweet. Oh, so kind of the people. <laughs> the only like the sweet uh, matcha. Like and only the bitter one, <laughs> and uh, I think many people it's okay for both. <laughs> it's also oh, sometimes, like, mm, yeah, flavor maybe sweet. Is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> are there anything Japanese uh, you wish uh, that you you would have in your country or culture? Yeah. Like the culture, oh. or for instance, on the train, oh. there's it's very silent, oh, oh. it's very comfortable, it's clean. You have to stand in line to get on the train. In our country, it's a mess if you want to go on the train. In general, the trains in our country are a mess. They're not so good, they're not so efficient. Never on time. Never on time. Trains on weekends too, which is very bad too. But it's very... It's a pleasant experience and people respect each other. So it's good. I would bring that. I also like the, the no-tipping culture. Oh, it's wonderful! It's, it's amazing. Wonderful. Got a tip, and you, you all, it always makes you uncomfortable because mm -hmm. you're not sure. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta put ten percent. You gotta put fifteen percent. Yeah. You don't want it to be too cheap, and mm -hmm. you don't. And if you don't tip, they're really mad at right, you, right. and it's a big deal. And then yeah. you're like, oh, they're gonna hate me if I don't put enough. And you also get, have to calculate it. Uh -huh. exactly. You get the check, and then you're like, oh, I have to do fifteen percent. Oh. So it's a headache and you know just tell me what the price is I'll pay it whatever the price uh -huh. but I don't want to wow it's like a game I don't want to play this game I just uh -huh. want to eat and go home <laughs> right for you uh, the tipping uh, culture was there since you were born right yeah but still you're not yeah still with it. nobody likes it but nobody <laughs> they don't know why it exists <laughs> in Europe in most of Europe and the US, they also like tipping, so maybe right. yeah. Western, so maybe we took it from them, but... Wow. Yeah. Also, I like when you order through a screen, uh -huh. it makes things easier when you just click on the screen oh, and order okay. your yeah, food. Wonderful. Uh -huh. yeah. Many things we like here, also in the convenience stores, in 7-Eleven or uh -huh. um, whatever, so you got a lot of food, uh -huh. you can just buy and eat really good food like the sushi yeah. the onigiri mm. amazing if you're hungry you just you buy it it costs nothing yeah you just get it and you got a lot of meals and that's very cool we don't have that in convenience <laughs> stores we just have snacks and alcohol but you have convenience store like the kind of store yeah, yeah we do we do yeah. have small stores but you you cannot get and very good food yeah. right. they're expensive and here you can really get very good mm. good food just buy it anywhere okay. Very cool. You, you know 7-Eleven? Yeah. yeah. But in your country there is 7-Eleven? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, it's actually new, I think. Oh, really? It's a few new. months it's, ago. Uh, yeah. Wow. But, but yeah, we, we have similar things. But yeah. It's just small supermarkets. It's not very convenient. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kawaii cultures. Oh, okay. I like it. It's fun. Oh, it's yeah. fun. I like the commercials. They're really fun. And I wish in as well <laughs> that uh, we had those kind of commercials. I also like the small... I don't, <laughs> there's just a truck, very small truck going. You have small trucks, small vehicles, it's smart. In our city, there's big trucks everywhere and it's noisy and it stinks. Mm. And here, you just got the small truck, the small trash, oh. like truck, small, I don't know, whatever. Oh. You, you don't have to do too much noise. Uh -huh. I think it's smart. Oh. You think it is cute? It's cute, really? yeah. Like Commercials are very really cool. You mean TV commercials? Yeah. All yeah. the TV are just... Or, or ads, just uh, regular. In general, yeah. very cool. Oh, you yeah. watch TV here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very, everyone are happy yeah. mm -hmm. and it's all very animated, very uh -huh. anime. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, yeah. It's fun. Oh, cool. yeah. Thank For you so your much. For time and the sharing your experiences. Thank you. We subscribe. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And, yeah, You're very you. nice. Yeah. <laughs>